When it comes to character design, nothing hinders the workflow like UV unwrapping. So to add skin to sculptures without the need of a UV map, I create a new material, give it a proper name, and then head over to the shading workspace, where the first step is to specify a natural tone for the skin and add subsurface scatter. But, as it stands, this skin is a bit too smooth to look natural. To add imperfections, I bring up the Add menu with Shift A and use the search field to find a node that generates random marks. A node to fine tune those marks. and a note to add color and layer the marks on top of the skin. Now, I have imperfections and they cover the entire surface of the skin, but in reality, these should be more prominent over regions that receive direct sunlight. To simulate this effect, I can either paint a mask to explicitly define the sun-worn regions, or I can take an implicit approach and distinguish those regions procedurally. I like it procedural, so I bring in a few more nodes. A node that gives me surface normals, a node that lets me combine those normals with a vector representing direct sunlight. A node to let me adjust the area of sunlight exposure. And finally, a node to integrate the exposed area with the random marks from the previous branch. As a result, the randomly generated imperfections are now more prominent over regions that face upwards towards the sun, and I achieve this effect without explicitly defining a masking region. But, there are cases where a mask is necessary. For example, the lips. To color the lips separate from that of the skin, I bring in these three nodes. In particular, keep an eye on the attribute node. I'll come back to it in a moment. But right now, I switch to the layout workspace where I change the interaction mode to vertex paint and create a new color attribute, making sure to give it a unique name. I then select the airbrush for its soft edge and paint over the lips, carefully refining the mask before I head back to the shading workspace where all that remains is to type in the unique name of the attribute I just created. And there it is. A realistic skin texture which I can quickly apply to any of my sculptures without the headaches of UVs and UV unwrapping. But. Before you start using this, a few points to keep in mind. First, depending on the size of your sculpture, you'll need to adjust the size of the imperfections. Second, if you need more than one mask, you can create more attributes, paint the vertices, and bring them into the shader with additional attribute nodes. And finally, if you want to bring your sculptures to life, consider watching this next video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and until next time, take care.